I fall in love, you know, every day. And I fall in love with almost every subject I photograph. And I love them. I want to spend time with them. I want to hear their stories. I want to get closer. I don't want to lose touch. Whether or not I agree with their practices or what they're doing, I do believe that most people in this world are good people and that we have a lot to learn from them. Photography has the power to change your perspective on life. It has the power to help you make decisions uh, on, on the way you want to live your life. The Child Marriage Project has definitely been an incredible experience. I've seen the way photography can make incredible change. When people see those photographs, I hope they are overcome with a sense of urgency. I hope that they are moved and can see themselves as a child in that situation or their daughter or niece or someone else in that situation. That they want to do something and that they don't forget the photographs. When I was younger, I didn't understand why there were no women, or, or very few women in our profession. I'm 39 years old now, and um, you know I don't have children yet. And so I'm kind of facing the repercussions of that. But I understand now kind of some of the limitations that, uh, that are out there for women. And when we do have kids, I know that there will be some changes I'll have to make in certain stories I take and what I continue to do. We'll never understand communities that are not like ourselves uh, without time. Time is something that you need for a great photography. Everyone can take a good picture, especially now. <laughs> but to take great photographs, you need time, you need patience, you need support, and National Geographic gives you that.